And a uh, quick note, maybe on the um, subject of fear. Again, it, it probably would take a much longer conversation. And I would like to, basically, I have a document that I wrote up for a chat series on trading psychology a couple of years ago. And uh, fear is obviously a big, big aspect of it. And I would like to move those into video format, into the uh, current video chat series format eventually. Uh, so probably after the, uh, the macro series. <clears throat> but um, in terms of a quick look at fear from the perspective that I think is important and you correct and, and if it and if the uh, perspective in which you're uh, looking at fear is different, let me know so I can talk about the right subject because there are a lot of there are a lot of dimensions to it. Uh, but from my perspective, the biggest obstacle that fear creates is in, in a trader is twofold. The first one, and, and both are linked. The first one is that it prevents you from, you know, actively participating in the markets. Yeah, so you're basically missing opportunities. Uh, you're not taking trades that you probably should. Um, even on good setups, even when everything matches up, your fear dominates and you're not able to trade properly. I think that trading smaller than you should is not the worst of things, right? So I don't really think that that's too much of a factor when it comes to fear. It's basically that taking the trade or not taking the trade, you know, that um, that is not linked to analysis paralysis. Simply, it's simply linked to fear paralysis, right? It's a point where you know that everything lines up, you want to take it, but something in the back of your mind is telling you that the risk is too high, Yeah. Um, obviously, there are a lot of things to do there. First of all, look to see if the risk is too high from a from a from a financial standpoint, right? Are you trading too big? Is that what's affecting? Right. But again, those are topics for other conversations. I'm talking about all things being equal, size being correct, amount of assets in the portfolio being correct, sentiment read being correct, everything being correct, but you still can't take the trade. That's the fear factor number one. I guess that's what I think. Uh, you know, and then it links directly to that second aspect which is you know it prevents you from acting when you need to act so not only when it's an option to act which is when you take a trade right not a fresh trade but when you need to act which is very specific to damage control so i think that those are the two big you know areas of study for for how fear affects us as traders you know and not taking regular trades and then and not taking the correct action when we need to and that goes uh, into like uh, taking losses when your circuit breakers hit uh, in executing damage control when your damage control trigger gets hit on hedging when your hedge levels are marked, right? Not doing all those things uh, because of fear, right? Uh, there's obviously you can do those, you cannot do those things out of other emotions such as hope, <laughs> which is also not a good one to have when you need to take a decisive action. Uh, at the damage control level, but fear is worse. We fear fear is a lot worse, I think, um, and and it ties a little bit into hope because you are fearful, right, that you are going to uh, be potentially closing things that are going to start working for you right away, right, and that's another type of fear <laughs> as well that is attached to the hope factor. But from a from a very general, without really having to dig very deep into all the sub sections of fear for every sub type of category that exists in the actions that you take from a from a global perspective you've got the fear where that is preventing you from being an active trader and you have the fear that is preventing you from learning damage control properly and practicing it properly so that you can excel at it to the point where you gain the confidence that then eliminates that fear in the first place because it is a loop it is a very closed loop yeah for me from my experience, because I suffered fear uh, tremendously as a trader. I was never a greedy trader. I was a fearful trader, which is probably worse. <laughs> you know, I was very risk averse um, at the beginning. And I still, and I think I am still relatively risk averse in general, 
right in life. I think it's, uh, it's just part of my personality and there's nothing that I can really change about that. It's how I'm wired and that's, and that's, and that's how it is. But, you know, I'm a trader and I've done this for a long time. And that part of the fear that affects that part of my, you know, actions is under control. And it's been a, it's been a journey, but it's completely under control. And I don't feel that risk aversion while I'm trading anymore. On the uh, contrary, I feel almost an ecstasy, right, of, uh, of confidence when I trade. So going back to the loop concept is that if you do not have that confidence level in your ability, you know, that fear will never go away. And if that fear never goes away, you will never get that confidence level in your ability. That's the closed loop that I think exists uh, when you're looking at fear from a um, trading psychology level. And so j just let me ask you, is that something, is that what you're referring to? Uh, is that like, are you affected by, you know, that loop, for example, are you, are, are any of you affected by that loop or have been affected by that loop before? Again, if you're, if you're a trader that entered with, I guess, the demon of greed, right. Rather than the demon of fear, then that's a whole different conversation, a whole different way to tackle it as well and also works in a in, in a similar manner but it is not a closed loop well as whereas the demon of fear i believe uh does have that inconvenience right um yeah greed might be worse because greed uh, fear protects to a certain degree right again in the first application in the in the sense of taking a trade your fear is a is a, is a natural reaction you know from your brain uh, to the how counterintuitive trading is, right? Uh, and how, how, how risky you perceive it. Um, and the fear tries to protect you from that, right? Whereas the fear, right, in the damage control environment uh, is another type of fear. Again, we're going into multiple levels. It's not the same type of fear because that fear is not protecting you because it's doing, it's causing you to do something that is detrimental, yeah? It's causing you not to follow a trade plan or a damage control plan. It's causing you not to take your losses when you're supposed to take them. Yeah. It's causing you not to hedge or wash when you're supposed to. And it's on paper detrimental to you, yet that fear is being triggered and is controlling you. Whereas the fear of taking a trade, right, in general, uh, you know, does have as a secondary effect that you know, purpose of protection. Yeah. So again, two different things in that double category, overview category. That, uh, that we, but yeah, I agree. Overconfidence, greed uh, is probably a lot worse because you're going to have a lot more uh, of a uh, chance of uh, risk of ruin from greed than you are from fear uh, if you're just trading regularly. Yeah. I'm sure there are some strategies where fear is more dangerous than greed, but again, on a Traditional trading level, you know, in most cases, you being a greedy bastard is going to get you. Uh, it's going to it's going to get you screwed, right? Whereas being fearful is just going to keep you out of the market, for the most part. Again, there are always exceptions for that. <clears throat> but uh, I agree with Daniel that greed is probably uh, much worse, uh, but it's also easier to deal with. It really is. Uh, greed is a matter of uh, of discipline, while fear is a matter of overcoming a very powerful emotion. Uh, that uh, prevents you from from acting, whereas greed, you know, is something that you would you would just have to prevent a specific action. You can actually probably, you know, set a, a series of uh, of of, uh, of steps in motion uh, to stop that much faster than you would to have to remove the fear from a fearful trader. In my in my opinion, but again, greed greed is for for another discussion. I think.